Hi brethren, it's Lisa with Sabbath Seekers. This is going to be a rather quick video today. You guys know I have been stepping back and mainly that is because I have been trying to get caught up and handle the bread basket needs. Many of you know that I have limitations health-wise myself, but I'm I'm blessed to be able to be used by the Lord in this capacity alongside all of you. Um, this is a blessing to serve one another, to be able to be used in this capacity. Like I said, we, um, I have been trying just to uh, keep up with all those things and everything is going okay. Uh, we all have our own battles, but there's just a few things, um, I need to go over with you. First of all, I want to thank you all for supporting your brethren the way you have. Uh, all 16, excuse me, 19 total families were assisted in the month of April. That was 19 families. We were able to meet all the needs for the 19 total families. They range from the U.S. to the U.K., uh, Canada, and France. And so I always say there's there's no place too far that the love of God and his people cannot reach. And um, so this month, so far in the month of May, uh, we have uh, five, maybe six total families so far. There may be a sixth one coming on board, but it's forecasted to be a pretty busy month, I see, because we're only at the beginning of the month. So here. Anyway, there is a um, another young lady by the name of, I'm trying to keep up with everything because this is going to be, I have a couple of dreams I have to share with you, uh, too, as well. But there is also a young, uh, a young lady who is in dire need right now, and we are trying to get her an AC unit, which is like a window unit today. Uh, thank All you, right. Ken, for uh, sending this to me. A young lady... On her YouTube channel, Crystal Clear Truth, I have left several messages in her comment section there. She just made the video two hours ago. All the comments were deleted. So I sent a PayPal to her for $50 with a message for her to contact me at breadbasketneed at gmail.com. We will purchase this we have enough funds right now. We can purchase the window unit for her through like Walmart and she can pick that up today if she will contact me. I have to make contact with her. I need to know where she lives, where the closest Walmart is to her, and we will get that taken care of today. So if anybody knows this young lady, Crystal Clear Truth, please contact uh, her and let her know to email me at breadbasketneed at gmail.com so we can get this unit purchased today so she can pick that up and uh, I I I was gonna go over with y'all you know some I'll just go over the prayer request for the needs that we have so far in just a minute um, let me get my page here all right and please be praying for the needs we have so far this month there's still ongoing needs from April uh, we haven't completed all the needs because there's a lot involved in some of these needs from April. So the 19 families, it's probably about, um, I don't know, five of them that, you know, rolled over into May. But the ones we have so far is now this young lady, Crystal, um, from that channel I just mentioned. And uh, then we have Wendy H. Please pray for Wendy H. and her two children. Uh, Marie K. out of Missouri. She's very ill. Please pray for her. We have been able to get her some vitamins and things like that and some nutrition shakes. Um, just pray for her recovery. Claudia R. and Darren R. out of Minnesota. Um, we have been able to help them uh, so far this month. Uh, Darren is experiencing a rare eye disease where he's going blind and can no longer even see through a, a magnifying glass and can no longer drive and work. And we're trying to get him, 
you know, he's trying to, you know, get resources and things, but we're helping him out in the interim. Uh, Wayne, and this eye disease that Darren has is rapid. It has just been, it's, it's a rapid, rare disease. So we've been on that. Uh, Wayne B. out of Tennessee, we were able to help him yesterday. Um, and we've got him calling another resource as well to take care of some things he needs to take care of. Thank you, Jeffrey, I believe his name was. Was a brother that helped him when he fell in the snow and became his friend. And he is the one who emailed me about Wayne B. And he's out of Tennessee. Uh, also pray for Trita W. out of New Mexico. I just called the well company and was able to get that uh, well repair bill paid and the plumbing uh, bill paid. She is an elderly woman on a fixed income and the storms uh, took out this stuff. We were able to, to take care of that. Thank you, brethren. Uh, Pat Patty or Patricia M., out of Texas, her and her son Joshua, we were able to get them like one of those really thick truck loading tarps sent to them, which got installed yesterday by a friend onto their leaking camper. So, um, and we've been able to help with some other things. Their, uh, we got their car towed uh, to a shop and uh, we're awaiting repairs on that so that her son can go back to work. All of these situations where people have a plan. They have a plan in place of what they're going to do. I have to stress a couple of things with you guys. We are not in a situation where we can take on someone's financial needs on an ongoing basis. We are in an emergency situation where we help someone in an immediate emergency crisis. But we are not able to take on a situation where we can, you know, just continually uh, go forward to support. You have got to go to the Lord in prayer. You have got to go to Jesus. The Lord has a plan. He has brought you to the breadbasket to help you in a crisis, but you have got to go before the Lord and make a plan that cannot fall on me. I do not have the time, nor the 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 time excuse me the time nor the energy to take on uh more than i'm already uh taking on everything's going fine i'm handling it but i have to get my strength from the lord too um on this home front over here we have our own issues we're dealing with we had busted pipes the ac stopped working we have a mother cat stray where we've been taking care of her and her four babies that got out We've had issues there with, I mean, everyone has their problems. Everyone does. But each of us have to go to the Lord Jesus Christ and present our need before him. And he will lead us in a plan. That does not fall on me. I am not God. I, would, I am so glad that we have a righteous and holy father that we each need to go to in our need we are here as a tool we are tools all of you sisters and brothers who work with me and this mission and help these people whether you're prayer warriors or you financially support the breadbasket all of us we work together as a body of christ equally we work alongside each other um we do not have uh someone wanted to know if they could work for uh, the mission, like, so we could continually, I guess, um, they didn't have a plan, they don't have a plan to pay their bills ongoing. I don't get paid. No one else gets paid. I live on a fixed income. I am disabled myself. I do all this from this bed that I am in right here. Not looking for sympathy. I'm just grateful that the Lord can use me as a tool in my capacity but i am not i am only able to do what i'm able to do and so there's gonna have since it's growing we're going to have to you know set some boundaries and i'm not trying to be ugly but i can no longer um 
when someone calls, I, I call, I speak with them, I get their initial need, I pray with them, and then I go to work. But their job is to come up with a plan, and that is going before your face, before the Lord, and having Him work those things out for you, or just emergency. And then to carry on conversations further from that, I'm unable to do that anymore. I have, um, I love to talk with people. I love to pray with people, but it's getting to the point with me where I'm going to have to focus on the emergency needs and you are going to have to seek the Lord. Um, and it, it's, it's between you and the Lord. The Lord is all powerful. When you take your issue before him and he provides for you in the crisis emergency situation, it is up to you and the Lord to come up with your further plan. I don't in any way want to be ugly or abrasive to anyone, but I, you have to remember, I am one person. And when we have 19 families for the month of April, you know that I stayed very busy. And so far in May, I am very busy. We're in a season right now where there are many that are in need. And there's, it, it's just, this is the way it's going to have to be. But. Um, for now until, you know, we're, we're, we're growing in the Lord each day and, and figuring things out. As far as the dreams, I wanted to share a dream with you that Deborah had, uh, last night that I thought was very important. And these correlates with a dream that I had in 2015, but this is one of her, she got up this morning to share a vision or a dream that she had the morning of May 6, 2022. She saw a coat of arms. She saw a coat of arms and it was British. She knew it was British. There were lion's faces. When you see a coat of arms, there's like four positions where there's maybe two shields and two corners and then two lions in another corner. In the other corners or whatever they are. There is a coat of arms and it was British and these lions were on there and they were changing position. They were changing faces and they were changing position. So... She couldn't tell if they were changing into cats, leopards, or lions, but they were changing position and changing faces, moving around. This tells me that out of Great Britain, um, with uh, we talked about it. Uh, she thought that it could be uh, Queen Elizabeth um, and uh, Charles coming into power. We're not sure. This is not what she was shown, but we're um, conjecture for the dream is that there could be a change of positions in the hierarchy. And it's going to affect the world powers. And so how this reflected from a dream I had was 2015. I heard this was months after I received the Holy Spirit and I had been having like nations against nations, these war dreams, and I was so new in the Lord. And I said, Father, these look like end time, you know, last days dreams. But there was nations against nations. It was wars happening. And this was, like I said, in 2015. And I heard, you will know the end when Great Britain falls. So I don't know if the changing of positions that she saw in the dream was this... um leopard, lion, changing faces, changing positions, if this country uh, would be falling and then someone uh, from the outside coming in, a world leader coming in to take over that, or them taking the world position as the leader, I'm not sure. I'm just sharing with you her dream because I thought it was important, and the dream that I had back then that I thought of. So, thank you for your time today. Thank you for your love for your brethren. Uh, please understand that um, when you are a family and you have a breadbasket need, that there are several other needs. And just please remember and respect that I am one person and consider the time zone. I am in North Carolina. I am in the Eastern time zone. So when you're calling me, please look up your time zone wherever you are. A lot of people are respectful of that. And then we have some people who... Unfortunately, they think they're the only person that I'm speaking with, 
And I am very, very, very busy um, talking with people on a daily basis and just trying to put everything in prayer and, and get things done. So I'm trying to catch up on some projects and things that I'm doing, some letters that I wanted to send people, some cards, thank yous. And if you have, um, this is another thing, if you have, if I have sent you a message through the uh, PayPal uh, message, a lot of times people don't see those. So if you could email me, I would love to send you a card if you have given to the bread basket. Now, I don't have your address. PayPal will not give me a way to contact you. So I would just like to reach out to you, not to put, you know, more on my plate, just because I love you and I want to thank you. That's just something I want to do. So if you could send me your address, if you've given to the PayPal, to the bread basket, to uh, sabbathseekers at gmail.com. And if you have a breadbasket need, you can contact breadbasketneed at gmail.com. And I, and that's breadbasketneed, singular, no S on the end, breadbasketneed at gmail.com. And I really appreciate your prayers, guys. I could really use them. The Lord is working with me on my time management to be able to take care of my personal things along with the things that, you know, come in on a daily basis. Um, this is a blessing. I know the Lord has blessed it because every single need so far has been met. I need to, as an individual, uh, manage my time with the Lord better, manage my time with, with people, uh, with the needs. I think my weakness is that I like to get on the phone with people. I like to call them if they want me to call them just to talk. And there's just not in, in the situation we're all in right now, we need time with the Father too. And and I could use some, some prayers because I my body is experiencing a lot of pain with the stress of my personal battles. Just my my personal stuff, you know. I have stuff going on too. But um my prayers are for you. Uh just pray if you could, please pray for my inflammation to um, just for me to better manage things better and, and get inflammation down and things like that. Doing much, I consider myself doing much better than I was in months prior. And I'm on a very limited special diet. And so I believe that has helped. But I still experience, you know, uh, all these things on a daily basis. And a lot of times, you know, helping people and reaching out kind of takes my mind off of things that I'm going through. But we do have to have a healthy balance, and we have to set healthy boundaries. Again, um, just please understand I'm one person that's handling the calls, but we're all a body side, walking together uh, side by side equally to to help these people. And I just want to thank you. I pray the Lord bless you. I just pray he bless your hands, your feet, and your precious hearts for all you've done, for you who've given, and you who our prayer warriors who will take every name that I've given you today and submit it to prayer and be a true prayer warrior. I love you and I thank you and Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I wanted to show you one more scripture. So you read that one, hopefully, on this page that I'm showing here. Now check this one out. One more. Verse 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despisefully use you and persecute you. Guys, I'll say one more thing before I get off here. There are so many people. We have a mi we have missions that we work with. Uh, we're working now with, uh, you know, helping out the missions with uh, Weatherman Plus. Mark, his precious soul, was out there in um, Aldi's parking lot. Uh, you know, we... We want to support them and what they're doing. And if you haven't heard about it, go check him out. Weatherman Plus Mark. But also, Hot Man a Minute, uh, Matthew and Lisa, please pray for them. Um, I just I just feel in my heart, you know, they're going through a difficult time. And a lot of people don't like to when they're out there doing missions and stuff. They work very hard. But when they put their PayPal in the description box for people to support whatever missions they're doing, there's a lot of people that love to do that. And 
they are unable to get out. So they want to help support missions that are able to get out. And uh, they're struggling right now. So they don't, you know, necessarily like to put it on because they get so much hate mail about having have that on there to do the missions and the work they're doing. They're anointed to be able to go into these tent cities and speak to these people and, and give them backpacks and Bibles and love and pray with them. Um, you know, everybody, we all supposed to work together. We're all supposed to work together. This is, uh, this ugliness that comes through the emails. I deal with it too. I get nasty grams. I give them to the Lord and I pray for those people. But you know what? We got to, uh, it's kind of like someone said uh, to me, uh, one time, I can't remember who it was, buck up buttercup, you know, um, we're going to get, uh, persecution. We're going to have people hating on us for what we do. But you know what? There's more happening in what we do than anything that we could pay attention into a nasty gram. You, but you don't hate on them. You submit them to the Lord. You submit them to the Lord in prayer. Pray for them. Pray for them because for whatever reason, they have the ugly heart. They have, maybe they've been burned or something by a ministry before. Maybe they got taken for all they had. Maybe they got burned in the church, uh, and, you know, found out that churches, you know, whatever they were using the offerings for. These people, you don't know what they've been through. So don't just take it as a, take it as a, um, you know, a hate-filled attack. Think about that person and what they might have been through. And pray for them. Pray for them that the love of Christ would be upon them. Because the word tells us. The word tells us. Where did I have that? I had it right here. That scripture. Um... I just had it. So, here it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we're doing. He shall say to the sheep that he set on his right hand, and the goats on the left. And they say, in verse 35, Jesus says, For when I hungered, you gave me meat. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was a stranger, you took me in, naked, and you clothed me. When I was sick, you visited me. When I was in prison, and you came to me. And they say, well, when did we see you naked or unclothed or a stranger? He said, Verily I say to you in verse 40, Inasmuch as ye have done it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Friends, brethren, this is what we are supposed to be doing. The Bible says, when the Lord returns, will we be found giving meat in due season? Yeah, that's just not meat. Meat like food. That's Meat, food, drink, the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Put on your full armor. We are in the day of evil. And buck up, buttercup. We have got to get our strength from the Lord in this time of evil. It is growing. She's travailing like a woman in travail. And we have to buck up. And that is not by our own strength or our own might, but by the Lord's spirit. In Zechariah 4, 6, read that. Not by strength, nor by might, but by my spirit. And buck up and put on the armor of Christ Jesus. And uh, and stand, and having done all, stand. We will not be moved. We will keep doing what we're doing. And if somebody doesn't like it, then you just pray for them and leave it alone and get, and get about the business that the Father set before you. And that's all I got to say. Love you. I love you so much. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a little longer than I thought, but I pray the message blessed you. Okay, talk to you soon.